In this video, we're looking at the proof of the circle theorems. We're going to go through five different proofs, and we're starting with proving that the angle in a semicircle, or an angle from a diameter, is equal to 90 degrees. So we're told AOB is a diameter, and we need to prove that ACB is 90 degrees. We do that by splitting our triangle into two isosceles triangles, so joining up the centre of the circle and C. So we've split the triangle into two isosceles triangles. So for triangle AOC, AO and OC are both the radius, so they're equal. The other side of an isosceles triangle is called the base, and the two angles at the base of an isosceles triangle are equal. So we can call them both X. And we've got another isosceles triangle. So OBC and again, OC and OB are both the radius. So they're equal. And the two angles at the base are equal. So when we're writing a proof, we need to give a reason for each stage of our working. So we can say that angle OAC equals ACO because angles at the base of an isosceles triangle are equal. And that's the same reason for OBC and OCB for the same reason for that. So what we can do now is we can work out the missing angle in the triangle. So angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So angle AOC is going to be 180 take away 2x. And COB is going to be 180, take away 2Y. So I'm going to write AOC is 180 minus 2X. And the reason is angles in a triangle add up to 180. And the same reason for COB equal, equal in 180 minus 2Y. So the same reason again. So what do we have? We have 180 minus 2X and 180 minus 2Y on a straight line. And a straight line adds up to 180 degrees. So I'm going to write 180 minus 2x plus 180 minus 2y is a straight line, so it adds up to 180 degrees. These two angles here are on a straight line, so they add up to 180 degrees. So angles on a straight line add to 180 degrees. So let's simplify this. We've got 180 plus 180, which is 360. We've got minus 2x minus 2y equals 180. So if I plus 2x and plus 2y to both sides to make them positive, so 360 equals 180 plus 2x plus 2y, then take 180 away from both sides, I'll get 180 is equal to 2x plus 2y. Then I can half everything, so divide both sides by 2, and get 90 equals x plus y. So I've got 90 equals x plus y, and you can see angle ACB is x plus y. So ACB is equal to x plus y, therefore 
ACB is 90 degrees because X plus Y is 90 degrees. Here we have another question. This time we need to prove the angle AOB. So the angle at the center is twice the angle ACB. So the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So how can we prove this? Again, what we do is we create two isosceles triangles. So I'm gonna join the center of the triangle up to point C. So I've created two isosceles triangles. Triangle AOC has got two radiuses. So the two angles at the base are going to be equal. And triangle OBC, again, two of the sides are radiuses. So they're equal sides. The other side's the base and the two angles at the base of an isosceles triangle are equal. So I can say OAC is equal to OCA and the reason is angles at the base of an isosceles triangle are equal. And the same reason why angle OBC and angle OCB are equal. And again, we can find the missing angle in the triangle. So angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So o AOC is 180 take away 2x and BOC is 180 take away 2y. So we can say that, well, ACB is x plus y and what is aob so the angles around the point add up to 360 degrees so aob is going to be 360 take away 180 minus 2x and take away 180 minus 2y and that's because angles around the point add up to 360 degrees So let's simplify this. So we're taking away all of this. We're taking away 180 minus 2x. So that's the same as if we multiply this bracket through by negative 1, we're taking away all of it. We're going to get 360 take away 180 plus 2x. So we're taking away a negative, which means we're adding. And then it's take away 180 and again taking away a negative 2y means we're adding 2y so we've got 360 take away 180 take away another 180 which is zero and we've just got 2x plus 2y left so aob is 2x plus 2y acb is x plus y so aob is equal to 2 times ACB. 2x plus 2y is equal to 2 lots of x plus y. We've proved the angle at the centre is twice the angle at the circumference. Here we have another one. And we need to prove that angle ACB 
angle ACB is equal to angle ADB. So angles from the same angles in the same segment are equal. Two angles from the same points are equal. We can use the fact, it says given that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So we can use the fact that an angle at the center, so if we draw it on, AOB is twice the angle at the circumference. So if we say let angle AOB equal X. So if we call angle AOB X, we can say ADB must be half X because the angle at the center is twice the angle at circumference. So ADB is half X, but we can also say ACB is half X for the exact same reason. So again, it's the angle at the circumference, which is half the angle at the center. So if ADB is half X, and ACB is half X, ADB and ACB are the same angle. Here's another one. Again, we can use the fact that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference, and we need to prove that ACD, ACD and A. B, D, add up to 180. So the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. So again, we're going to join up the center. So join A to O and then O to D. So if we call one of our angles X, let's say AOD, the major side, the AOD, and I write major equal X. We can say angles around the point add up to 360. So AOD, the smaller side, is 360 minus X. And that's because angles around the point add to 360 degrees. And then we can use the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So I can say that ACD is half of X. So ACD is half X. And that's because angle at the center is twice angle at circumference. And we can also say that ABD is half of 360 minus X. So 180 minus half X for the same reason. So what do we have? We've got ACD. ACD is half X. ABD is 180 minus half X. If we add them together, half X plus 180 minus half X is 180 degrees. So ACD plus ABD equals 180 degrees. And we have one more proof. Given that a tangent meets a radius at 90 degrees, an angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees, 
and angles in the same segment are equal, prove that angle ABC A, B, C, equals angle C, A, D. So this is the alternate segment theorem. We're proving the alternate segment theorem. To prove this one, we draw a diameter from A. So from A going through the center of the circle. So we draw a diameter from A. And we're also going to join up that diameter where the diameter meets the other side of the circle with point C here. So let's call our angle CAD X. So let CAD equal X. We know a tangent meets a radius at 90 degrees. So OAD is a right angle. So this whole angle is a right angle. So OAC must be 90 take away X. 90 take away X plus X is 90 degrees. So I'm going to say OAC is equal to 90 minus X. And the reason is because a tangent meets a radius at 90 degrees. So we've got 90 minus X in this triangle. And we also can say that the angle at, if I label this E, the angle at C is a right angle. So ACE is 90 degrees because it's an angle in a semicircle. So angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees. We were told that in the question. So we've got a 90 degree angle here. So we can find angle AEC. So AEC is 180, take away 90, and take away 90 minus X. So if we take away 90, we've got 90 left. And what do we have to add on to 90 minus X? To get 90, well, that's X. So let me explain that again. So we had angles in a triangle are 180 degrees. We've got a right angle, which is 90. So we've got 90 left. And then we're taking away 90 minus X. So it's the same as 90, take away 90. And we're taking away negative X which is plus X. So we've got X left. X and 90 minus X make 90 plus 90 is 180. So AEC is equal to X because angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees. And then we can use the fact that angles in the same segment are equal To say ABC is also equal to X because angles in the same segment are equal. So ABC is X, CAD is X. So ABC equals CAD because they're both X.